Hello friends, this is a 2019 Aquarius yearly horoscope. More precisely, this is an annual horoscope for those who have Sun, Ascendant and Moon in Aquarius sign, especially for those who have Ascendant in Aquarius. You can watch also my other video about year 2019. It is already on the YouTube and that is a general overview for the next year. The name of the video is Year 2019, Just Another Step. Uh, you will see there that um, I speak about the year 2019 as a preparation for the events that are going to happen in the year 2020. So why do I say that? Because the year, this 2019 year is... Um, uh, really uh, has mainly the same, the same, more, more or less the same transits as the year 2020. But in the year 2020 are going to happen three big conjunctions in the sign of Capricorn, and that is that will strongly influences all of us. That symbolizes big shifts um, in the global area. So it will especially affect ruling structures in the world. And this, this uh, conjunctions in Capricorn will have an influence on many of us individually, not all of us. In this today video, we are going to speak about Aquarius. But let me start, before I start speaking about Aquarius directly, let me say a few more things about this time we live in. So I would like to mention that the world polarizes more and more. And by saying that, I do not think of political polarization. I actually think that the political polarization is the result of the polarization that is happening on the level of, level of being. And this is happening on micro and micro plane. So when the, pol the, the world polarizes, then one has to choose his side. And this is spontaneously happening to all of us. And when I speak about polarization, I mean between that the polarization is happening between mind on one side and consciousness on the other side, or to say between manipulation that is connected with the mind and the truth with big letter T that is connected with consciousness. So as we know from Vedic Indian tradition, mind is very clearly described Mind is something that is wandering around and getting information about things. Mind analyzes, but mind, we can't, through mind, we can't uh, get the truth. We can't see the truth. We can see the truth only if we widen our consciousness. If we work uh, through intuition and we work with this spiritual dimension of our being, only then we can achieve the truth. And I mean, many people know about this, those ruling structures, definitely. And they're using people's mind for manipulation extremely actively in this time. And that is why there are many people who are starting to think, well, this can't be true. And they're looking for the truth, you know. And this kind of polarization is constantly happening, you know. And we will see when will happen that critical point when those, those groups of people who are truthfully oriented, oriented towards the truth, they become the majority. And I believe that will happen sooner or later. So that's what we are going through, according to my perception. And in this context, of course, astrology can be very useful. It's useful in any time. So in this time also. But in all of those videos for the year 2019, I'm mentioning here that actually horoscope is only a map. You can use that map if you need the orientation. But um, everything depends on how you will, um, I mean, what will horoscope tell you, depends also a lot on, on that, on which level you are, which level of consciousness, you know. So that's how, on that will depend how you will react to certain transits and how you will use your inner dispositions. So people who are on a very high level of consciousness, they actually do not feel much effect of transits, you know. They, they, they cooperate with this universal energy and with the spirit in a different way. Uh, so many people also ask me whether they should listen to their sun sign or ascendant sign or moon sign. So if you are, for example, you have Aquarius 
sun and ascendant in Capricorn and I don't know moon in Gemini then you should listen to all of those videos each video will tell you something but this is what I'm going to speak about here will the most in fact people who have sun or ascendant in Aquarius especially maybe ascendant in Aquarius so let's see what Aquarius people can expect during the year 2019 well, Aquarius people, the same as Leo people, are going through some big life shifts all 2018 year, and most of them also 2017. They feel those big shifts. They're preparing or they're going on, you know. And basically everything is done. There is going to be one more eclipse on this Aquarius-Leo axis. And this eclipse will happen on the January 21st of the year 2019. It is going to be on Leo uh, on zero degree of Leo. And this is, this is the last thing that Aquarius and Leo people need to do. There is one more thing to do. There is, the job is not completely finished. This will mainly fill people who have planets around between zero and fifth degree of Aquarius. But it can influence others as well, especially if they don't, if they didn't do the job, let's say, during the year 2017 or 18, which is hard to imagine. I, I believe that most of Aquarius people see what is the subject and they understand quite well what is that that they need to change if they want to function well in the future. The thing is, when eclipses are happening on this axis, Leo-Aquarius axis, and, of course, the transit of lunar nodes is connected with those eclipses. So, eclipses and nodes actually point that um, for Aquarius people, one life, long life phase finished, and it is the time to start a new one. And it is not that they have to uh, finish with majority of things they did until now, and that they have to change completely everything. They can remind even in more or less in the same situation. Just the life will not have meaning if they do so. You know, that's the trouble with eclipses and nodes. So when, they, when eclipses and nodes are happening in our sign, we are called to make one step more towards our development, towards our spiritual development. Because whatever we do, we work actually on our spiritual development. Some people do it by that way that they sabotage themselves. Some people cooperate very well, you know. But everything is actually spiritual development. That's why we are here, to develop in a spiritual sense. So, doesn't matter. You can think of job or partnership, but still you are working on that spiritual development. So, for many Aquarius people, to remind in the same situation would mean actually that they refuse to grow. And that's very hard to refuse, you know. So that's many people choose not to. <laughs> they, they choose not to stay in the same situation. <clears throat> and um, that is actually, that is basically the solution for this, you know. Because if you refuse to grow, then it can be that you are ill or something. Something else will happen. And the universe will find a way to push you in the into right direction. So it is better to cooperate with such energies when this time comes. <clears throat> So, yes, it is time to do some big changes, but there are other things that are happening in Aquarius horoscope, and those other things are saying that it's a very important time. Basically, they did not finish the job with those eclipses that were on, on um, Aquarius Leo axis. There are more eclipses that are going to happen, and there are other transits that are happening for Aquarius people, in the year 2019 and in the year 2020. And then actually majority of Aquarius people will be ready to make big new step. So what is happening? Well, they have Pluto in the 12 astrological house for some period already. They have Saturn in the 12 astrological house. And now they are going to have Ketu in the 12 astrological house. So, 12 astrological house, it is, they call it karmic house. It is the house when, where, uh, where things end. So, to have Pluto in the 12 astrological house, it's not that bad thing, because Pluto feels quite well there. 
Uh, Pluto can make very deep transformation, inner transformation, and this is very rare transit, you know, it's not like that, that everyone has Pluto in the 12th month in his life, no, only some people have it, <clears throat> and this can transform not only uh, now some Aquarius people, but it can change, um, change the past of their assessors, of their family, this is the transit that can that connects them with the collective they live in <coughs> and together with the family members who are alive or that dead, dead doesn't matter or with their collective where they live they feel some collective karma let's say and they are transforming through this collective karma even you know so this is quite important transit but the thing with this transit is that uh, people who are just live just a, a normal life, let's say normal life, I mean today is normal life, you know, they don't care much about spirituality and everything is spirituality, so it's hard not to feel it. So if there are such people, they will not feel this transit of Pluto basically at all. Or it will happen, some changes with Pluto will happen in a, in a so deep and inner level that they can't understand this indeed you know but many or but all aquarius people will feel saturn in the 12 astrological house you know saturn in the astrolo in the 12 astrological house is one of the major life transit and i'm saying in those videos that basically um, i don't know how many but let's say 80 percent of my clients have Saturn in the 12th house or Saturn in the first astrological house. So why is it that? Well, that's because transits of Saturn are, are transits that we experience twice, maybe some people three times in their life. And this is, these transits are always connected with the, with the gaining, to, to gaining knowledge about life. With this transit, we become wiser. And each time when, trans when Saturn passes through the 12th house, it actually destroys everything that we did and we created before because we do not need those things anymore. And with this transit, actually, 30 year cycle finishes. And when the Saturn crosses the point of the ascendant, the new 30 year cycle starts. And with this transit, actually, many people leave behind um, previous professions, the country they lived in, family that they created, many things are happening, you know, big things are happening in life when Saturn is in the 12th house and enters the first astrological house. So first in the 12th house, Saturn actually destroys things. So if, if you were wise enough to save money, that's good because some people lose money in the 12th house. Their house, they call the house, house of self-sabotage, so we sabotage ourselves, but it is hard to remember that we were sabotaging ourselves in some way when Saturn enters into the house. If it's in transit there, that means that we were sabotaging ourselves maybe all our life or even our ancestors were doing that, members of the family or who knows who. So we are paying there some karma that is our karma and karma of our family even. You know, if we, good, we, we did good deeds, that Saturn will not destroy many things there. Many things will be, uh, will, uh, we will still have. But if, if this transit, um, if, 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 but if you or your family members or somebody wasn't good enough, wasn't going, do, going, doing good deeds, and deserves in some way to be punished. And it, sometimes it's very hard why somebody needs to be punished. This is some law of, um, of a spiritual growth, you know, and many people do not understand where the problem can be. So then those people can lose, you know. So some people lose a lot with Saturn in the 12th. I'm saying depends on that, how moral that person was, how moral were other members of the family and so on. It is the 12th house is the house of secrets, maybe some family secrets. So sometimes we do not know why we are punished, but it can be because of the things that even we did not do. Maybe some other people who live with us did it. Okay, so this is one thing. And if that happens that you have to leave behind 
some material goods, money, you lose some money, or if it happens that you need to give up of the job or profession that you did until now, that's okay. That's okay. It is completely normal. Many people are very much scared of this, especially this Western people influenced by the Western culture, because coaches would teach people to do to, to be capable always to achieve new and new and new things, like achieve, 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 but it, life does not work like that, you know. There is a time when we achieve a lot, and then there is a time when we let things go. And Aquarius people are actually learning this for a year or two already, to let things go, you know. So with the Saturn in 12th house, many, uh, and that will, uh, some Aquarius will have Saturn in the 12th during the 2019, some will have later in the 2020, depending on horoscope, well, Saturn is telling the same thing, you know, leave behind that, what you do not need anymore, to be ready for something that will be new and that will completely change your life and your attitude towards life, towards yourself also. So many Aquarius people after the year 2020 will start new profession, will understand better than themselves in the partnership through uh, in contact with other people, they will become more responsible, they will be wiser, they will be more ready for new, for new responsibilities and things like that, you know, good th things are coming. So when I say to my clients, okay, Saturn is in the 12th astrological house, house have a rest, go to some far island, try not to work, live of your savings, you know, meditate, Think of yourself, let things go, you know, ask everyone for forgiveness if you did anything bad. And these kind of things, when I say this to people who are, uh, who are influenced by Western culture, they're, they're completely scared, you know, because like there is no, there should not be such time in our life. Well, of course that there is, everything is yin, yin and yang, you know, Thing, yang is when we are active and yin is when we have to be passive. You know, so you Capric uh, Aquarius people will even have Ketu South Node in the 12th astrological house. And South Node is actually saying the same thing. And Jupiter will enter at the end of 2019 in the same 12th astrological house. It is a good thing that Jupiter will be there because now Aquarius people will go through this transit easier than many other people do, you know. It will be much easier for them. Sometimes this transit can be very heavy. But those Aquarius people now, who, I mean, Aquarius people who, who are experiencing this transit now, in those now years, you know, they will have it easier than usually it is. The thing with the 12 houses is also that you, actually something new is born there at the same time when other things are falling apart. So just trust this process and it will be fantastic maybe already from the second part of the 2020 for many of you you know so uh, while south node is going to be in the 12th house the north node is going to be in the sixth house for aquarius people and sixth house is here the house where you gain you know it is the house where you learn and you do not have a problem there so things are coming easily in this, in this, your case should be that you, you feel that you need to learn how to have a rest, how to have a proper diet, how to sleep well. Maybe it's a good time to stop bad habits like smoking and things like that. Perhaps with this transit, you can change the attitude towards your job or your daily routine. You know, maybe the environment can change on your job. Maybe you will stay at the same job. You will not change it. The environment changes and you understand step by step that you can start doing something else and you start it. For example, at the end 2020 or 21, you know, until this year come, you may be perhaps now more rest at your job, you know, let's say it like that. But it is a definitely time for many Aquarius people to respect their daily routine in a new way, to have a proper diet, because if they do not do that, if they don't do that, then in that case they can... They can be somehow unhappy, you know. This can lead to some, um, I, I don't want to say depression, but in some, they will not be satisfied with themselves. They will, they will be just tired of everything, you know. So exercises, good sleep and these kind of things can be fantastic for Aquarius people. But even the Aquarius people have this period of time when they let things go, you know. 
there is an interesting transit. Jupiter is going to be in the 11th astrological house, and that house is known as the house of gains. These are actually gains that we get from other people. Other people are giving us something. They can give us money. They can help us. They can do good things for us, you know. We, um, we, through this house, we receive benefits from others. And that is also because of that we did good things before, you know. So now Aquarius people, when they really need help, they, they will have help. Their friends can help them or some people who are on a higher position. Uh, maybe they can help them to gain money or for some period of time or they can help them with their contacts on things like that, you know. Some, some Aquarius people will have extra money, bonus, because of some job that they did in the past. You know, they can be recognized among others, and that's very good, because most probably that will create to them some idea what to do in the future. This Jupiter in the 11th house has a square to Neptune in the second, so if they expect other people to give them too much money, maybe that will not be so. Maybe there are going to be some periods in 2019 when there is going to be help and then some people, they promise help and they don't give. So maybe some little disappointments can be here with this Jupiter there. But Aquarius people should not worry too much about money because Saturn that is in the 12th has good aspect to Neptune that is in the second, you know, so uh, they will find a way to have enough money, you know, maybe they will resist some hard situation because they want to keep money going on and that's quite good to do, you know. But Neptune in the second house makes confusion for many Aquarius people for some period already. Neptune in the second is good for those who work with people in this our new way, like um, maybe uh, helping people to understand themselves better, helping those who are who are helping people who need, um, for example, to with these alternative methods, let's say, alternative methods of healing, or who give different services to others, especially if this is somehow connected with this inner life then those Aquarius people have enough money, you know, even with those transits. No problem for them, you know. I mean, don't worry about money. Jupiter in 11 is quite good for that. Just be wise. <laughs> uh, Aquarius people also have another important transit. That is planet Uranus. And Uranus is their ruler. And always when Uranus changes sign, then Aquarius people feel that new area of they, their life flourishes and they feel that another part of their personality needs to be understood in a better way. So now Aquar uh, Aquarius people will learn what do they need in this material life. You know, they're not materialistic extremely a lot, usually typical typical Aquarius, but we have Uranus in Taurus in the fourth astrological house. Many Aquarius people will think of that. What do they need money for? Do, can they sell or buy some properties? Which changes they will they have to make in their family life? Many will move house. Many people move house with Uranus in their fourth astrological house. This will change, this transit will change family values. For, um, and will affect Aquarius for many years to come. And this transit will help them to change attitude towards family members. Maybe they will start more respecting family and their family members and be more orientated on this part of their life in the future. Well, that's all about Aquarius. I could speak more, but I think this was enough. So I mentioned here a few other transits. I could not speak about them in detail, but if you are interested in other transits that are going to occur in the year 2019, please have a look at my other videos. I have two videos on YouTube about Jupiter in Sagittarius, a video about Saturn in Capricorn. I recommend this video very much to Aquarius people. Then there are three videos about Uranus in Taurus. Then there is a video about Neptune in Pisces. 
then there is a video about cancer lunar nodes on cancer capricorn axis and this general overview for the year 2019 is also there so watch those videos during the year 2019 and try to um, understand that what I'm talking about more intuitively, not that rationally. So many people ask me, do I teach astrology? And in those videos for the year 2019, I'm using the opportunity to talk about that. I do not teach astrology for now, but I'm preparing video lessons in astrology. First, they will be in Czech and Serbian, perhaps later on in English. So please follow my web pages, symbolicthinking.net, to see what is happening there. For now, I offer, offer personal consultations based on astrology, and I have different types of astrological consultations. I have cons uh, consultancy based on astropsychology and spiritual astrology as well. I offer some audio recordings also. I also have consultancy based on feng shui. And now in the last years, I offer theta healing consultations, let's say. And theta healing is a fantastic new method that helps people to remove inner blockages. So if you feel that you are stuck and you can't move and you need to make some, make some big changes, then order theta healing. It will, be, it will be very useful for you in that case. So if you like the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for that in advance. Uh, you can also follow my posts in, on Facebook. And I would like to say at the end to all Aquarius people that I first of all wish them to be very wise.